DeAndre Hopkins to the Ravens ain't dead yet, baby. Team, keep it clean. What is going on? It's Aiden Graven here with another video. All them people who keep saying, stop talking about DeAndre Hopkins to the Ravens. Stop it. It's not happening. It's done. That dream is dead. You're wrong. For now, at least. But anyway... Anyway, like my guy Gowie said when we did the video together, he said just hold on to that that small piece of hope. Hold on to it cuz it could still go down. Let's read the report from Josina Anderson. So, Mary Kay Cabot, she had wrote a report. She said, updated, Deshaun Watson still wants DeAndre Hopkins, obviously the Browns quarterback, uh, but it's a long shot for now. No free agent visits to the Browns are scheduled, and they are not looking to add a big-name receiver. So that was from Mary Kay Cabot. She recovers the Browns. She's been covering the Browns for a while. But Josina Anderson, she came in from the top rope and she said, correct. So she's confirming that the Browns, they're not looking at a big name receiver. But she said, correct. DeAndre will still find a home. But in Cleveland, it will take a change in team circumstances and or a change in initial contract expectations as stated in the pod, the podcast, uh, per sources. Now, here we go. My understanding is Baltimore, B-A-L-T-I-M-O-R-E, will monitor his free agency. Other info is there, too. I said, oh, okay. Ra Ravens, y'all yo, yo, still watching for DeAndre Hopkins? Even though you got Odell, even though you got Rashad, even though you got Devin DuVernay, you got Nelson Aguilar, you got Zay Flowers. You still checking for DeAndre Hopkins? I, you got, you just signed Laquan Treadwell. I, I ain't mad at EDC. Look, man, look. You know how I felt for years about this wide receiver position and the way that the Ravens have addressed it. The Ravens this off season, they have not only addressed it, they've attacked, literally attacked it, attacked it. Now, because I know what some people are gonna say. I know people are gonna be like. Josina Anderson, all she did is say in, uh, that Baltimore will monitor his free agency. They do that with everybody. That, 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 that's, that's, I know people are going to say that. But, see, I ain't going to let you get my vibe for this one. You're not. You're not. You're not going to be able to. Because they did the same thing with Odell Beckham Jr. Same thing. They did the set. They were monitoring Odell Beckham Jr. They were, they were watching him. Then they started talking to him. And they kept talking to him. And then it was said that the Chiefs were another team that were interested in Odell Beckham Jr. Back when he was first coming back. when he It was during last year when he was still off. And the Ravens, just, they, they kept coming out with all these reports. The Ravens are monitoring. The Ravens are watching. The Ravens are checking for Odell Beckham Jr. The Ravens this. Ravens that with Odell Beckham Jr. We kept hearing stuff over and over and over and over and over and over and over about Ravens and Odell Beckham Jr. And y'all know me. Like I said, I, and that was something that I was wrong about. I was like, uh, I like it. That'd be cool. Um, but I just didn't think it was going to happen. Didn't think it was going to happen. And then that report came out that said the Jets, they were interested in Odell Beckham Jr. And I said, oh, okay. Jets, they got their quarterback. They're getting ready to trade for Aaron Rodgers uh, with the Ravens. They don't know who their quarterback is going to be yet because that's when the whole Lamar thing was still in limbo. Um, and I was like, with the Jets, they could probably give him more money. Um, so, yeah, he, he probably, yeah, he probably going to go there. Nope. Ravens said no. And the Ravens literally swooped in. They flew in. Shout out to Ravens being a bird. You get it. But the Ravens flew in and they snagged them. They snatched them right out of the arms from the Jets. Because, oh, that's when I thought it was over because he had a visit scheduled with the Jets. That's what it was. And that's when I even made the video. I was like, oh, yeah, it ain't looking good for Odell to, to the Baltimore. It ain't looking good. Probably ain't going to happen now. Because he had a visit scheduled on Monday. But the Ravens on a Sunday, they swooped in and they got him. Now, DeAndre Hopkins, his visit is scheduled for, I want to say, early next week. Now, Ravens. <laughs> Ravens. <laughs> Ravens, like, look, man. Look. Remember what y'all did last time with Odell When it was looking like he was about to be over Looking like he was about to be a Jet So And, and y'all swooped in last second Before the visit If you want to do it with DeAndre Hopkins I ain't going to be mad at, I ain't going to be mad I won't be mad at all If you want to do the same thing Ravens As it's been brought out by so many people Ravens got some bread Ra Ravens got some bread They got some money 
So they could they could make some stuff happen. And again, like I always say, like y'all know already, I ain't even gotta say it. When there's a will, there is a way. If you really wanna make something happen, you really wanna go out there and get it, you can do it. You can do it. So if they were to, to add DeAndre Hopkins, I know everybody talks about feelings. Everybody talks about feelings like the NFL is not a competitive business. And honestly, I get what you're saying. Because again, we talked about this the other day. Football players, they have feelings. And they are entitled to have feelings because they are people. So yeah, we all got feelings. But in, in, in football, and it's such a competitive sport, you got you to gotta show up. You got to show up. And you got to earn your position. You got to earn your role. And it's not a given. It, it, it's not a given. And Ravens are showing this year more than anything that it's not a given. At wide receiver, it's not a given. It's not. It, it ain't said stuff, especially if they still watching for DeAndre Hart. Like, still? Like, look, you, you just signed Odell Beckham Jr. to a one-year $18 million deal with 50. 15 mil guaranteed I, I even lost my voice saying that 15 mil guaranteed It's a lot of money And then you tacked on all them void years on the end of it So it's like the Ravens They, they risked, risked it big with Odell Beckham Jr. Because with all them void years If if he's not on a team next year Then they get like a, a, a an 11 mil in dead money So it's like Ray, Ravens like they, they, they pushed them chips in with Odell And I like it I liked it you still got a Rashad Bateman Nelson Aguilar You signed Nelson Aguilar Then you like Hey we draft We still gonna draft the, We still gonna draft the receiver You drafted Zay Flowers In the first round Like Who are these Ravens Who are they I, I like the new identity I like the new personality Hey Nice to meet you I'm pleased I'm pleased But if you go <laughs> Ravens Don't play with me Boy Don't play with me You go and get a DeAndre Hopkins DeAndre Hopkins <laughs> Oh he, He's not as fast as he He lost a step He can't separate Anquan Bowden He wasn't a speedster He wasn't burning nobody But that man with the 50-50 ball Oh yeah Y'all remember I know y'all Q I know y'all remember Anquan Bowden with the 50 There were times with Joe Flacco He'd be like, man, I don't know what I'm getting ready to do. I don't know what I thought. You know what? Whatever. Whew, just launch it down the field. And Quan Bolden, hero. That That's hero ball. He played hero ball because he did a lot of saving, man. So shout out to him. And he was a veteran that we got from the Cardinals. But he was a veteran that, that came through and was such a, a difference maker immediately. Immediately. And within a couple of years of him being there, boom, Ravens end up getting a Super Bowl. No Anquan Bolden, no Super Bowl. No Super Bowl. Now, um, can we say that for the same for DeAndre Hopkins? No, not necessarily. But DeAndre Hopkins does give you even more insurance. Again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. DeAndre Hopkins gives you even more insurance just in case. Just in case. Because you got Odell Beckham Jr. And he should be healthy. He should be good to go. But still, he's, he's had injury problems throughout his career. You got Rashad Bateman. His first couple of years, been two completely different injuries, and they've been freak injuries. But they've happened. So, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Now, DeAndre Hopkins, he done had a little bit of injuries, too. So, it's like everybody could, like, cancel out each other. Like, if one person misses a game, you still got these two. Two, two, two misses a game, you still got these other guys, too. So it's like the more the merrier And like we, we keep saying if you, The more quality you got Your worst player is that much better It's that much better So man I, um, I'm i cooling it on it As much as I can But uh, we'll see We'll see what happens uh, Y'all know that I wouldn't mind I definitely wouldn't mind um, But like I was saying before With DeAndre Hopkins um, It's it's not one of those things where it's like, all right, if, if the Ravens don't get DeAndre Hopkins and they got no chance to get to the Super Bowl, no, 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 because I, I do actually really think they got a legitimate shot with health. 
Health is the biggest thing. It's the biggest thing. I saw somebody bring up because Lamar's health has been a concern these past couple years. And, and same thing with him. The same thing with Lamar and Rashad Bateman. The two ain't have no injury problems. In college, they ain't have no injury problems, but two completely different injuries, two freak injuries, and it's messed up the both of the last two seasons. Both Lamar and Rashad Bateman. So that's a concern. So somebody made a really good point. They made a really, really good point. When they talked about this new offense, this new offense is a way, I forgot who it was in the comment section, but this new offense is a way to keep Lamar healthier. Because especially if you you'd stopped with these long dropbacks, not that you're going to eliminate all of them, because you're not. And that would be silly to eliminate all the long dropbacks, but uh, for him not to have to do it as much, for the route combinations to be a lot better, for there to be a lot more with the short passing game, the up-tempo passing game, the quick passing game. He's still going to take his shots. He's still going to take the deep shots and whatnot. That, ain't, that shouldn't go nowhere. But to also incorporate a lot more in the passing game, getting the ball out of his hands quicker, so he ain't got to try to do so much. He ain't got to be running around all over the place uh, waiting for somebody to come open. Because I, I was happy with Chris. Chris Sims said it the other day. He said it the other day, and I was like, oh, thank you, Chris. I, I've been saying that for the longest. With Lamar, so many people, since he can run, so many, and since he got a bunch of highlights running, uh, so many people feel like they got it in their mind, oh, he's a run-first quarterback. But he's not. This dude will sit there and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait for somebody to come up. He will wait, wait, wait. And we, we've been talking about it for years. There'll be times where we're watching at home. And we'll be like, Lamar, pass. Oh, no, Lamar, take off, take off, run. And he'll, just be wait. he'll be waiting for somebody to come open. Trying to avoid defenders in the backfield and whatnot. Wait for somebody to come open. We'll be like, Lamar, take off, take off, take off. Like, no, I'm waiting. So he's shown plenty of times that he is a pass first quarterback. But now, with the offense expected to get a little more pass happy, it's like, all right, cool. Um, Lamar, go do your thing. But he'll have more options. The more options you got, the less the ball got to be in his hands. The, excuse me, the quicker he can get the ball out, you got more play makers to make plays, go for it. I love it. I love it. So, anyway, team, keep it clean. We'll see how this thing goes. It all starts with a monitoring. Then it goes from a monitoring to a visit. But... Oh yeah, I, I was about to say They didn't even have a visit With Odell Beckham Jr. But they did see him in person When he did that workout in Arizona It was like 16 teams there Ravens were definitely one of them So we'll see We'll see Anything's possible Till it ain't possible no more And DeAndre Hopkins to the Ravens Is still possible Whether you like it or not